Hello everyone! So, sorry for not many videos lately. Uh, recently my iPod touchscreen broke, so yeah, I'm actually using my mom's iPhone. Wow, it's not focusing very well for some reason. But, uh, yeah. So, in this video I'm just going to be talking about how to trigger ovulation. Um, I do not suggest this if... I don't suggest just doing this if your female's not ovulating. I only suggest it if maybe you miss ovulation. Because, you know, when a female ovulates, she's ready to lay eggs. Of course, there's exceptions where females will lay at, like, 30, 40 grams. Actually, this girl right here, she ovulated at, like, 39 grams in the middle of December. So, yeah. And she was, like, six or seven months old. So, I was researching all this for her. And, wow, it's not focusing too well. But, anyway. Yeah. It turns out I think she is ovulating. I'll try to show you here. Not sure if you can really... You can't really see that at all, but I... Yeah. And this girl right here... I think is ovulating too, so I actually bred her. I'm waiting. If she's ovulating, I really think she is, but I want her to gain a little bit more weight because um, she's like 50 grams. She's not a bad size. Um, She's still fat and healthy, but her tail's a little... It's not skinny, but it's small-ish, and I want her to get like 55 grams like this girl right here. And this girl is at, was actually bred yesterday to contrast my male. That's what I decided to name him, Contrast. And I'll make a small update on him, showing you his permanent setup. Not permanent, because I change their setups once in a while, but, you know, as permanent as it can be. Because I might get, I don't know, a tank for him, and yeah. So I'll do that later today. So yeah, let's get into this. So... First of all, is say Ruby right here is my female or my male, and she's female. Well, she is, but so let's pretend that she's a male. You could do this. You could introduce them, and I don't know, let the male or let the female get the male's scent or pheromones or whatever he's giving off or get it. Sorry, I messed up my words. Whatever he's, you know, giving off, he's ready to breed, and yeah. So, um, you know, that's one way. And then there's tons of ways you can think, you can really make up your own. But I'm talking about all the ways that I've seen on the internet that have been, that have worked for a lot of breeders. Um, also, if you're wondering what's on her toe right there, she just got a little bit, of, she got a little cut, and yeah. That's okay, I'm putting stuff on it. Anyway, back to the video. Um, that's one way. A second way is to put a male in a tub like this. 16 quart tub. For, you know, um, 10, 15 minutes. Let him wander around in there. And then take him out and put the female in there for like 10 minutes. And she might pick up his scent. That's another way. And another way, I didn't... I actually saw on the internet, but someone also suggested it to me, or they said that it might work, and, that, and he said to, he said that it might work if you put, like, the male's paper towels into the female enclosure, and what I heard was put some of the male's, um, not exactly paper towels, just put, like, a, one of the male's hides in it, so, and she really wants to get out, so those are two ideas, like, put one of the male's um, you know, not like a hide or some substrate, and just put it, you know, in the females. That's an idea. That doesn't have as much, I don't know, it doesn't have as much proof behind it. Um, there's, I guess not proof, but, you know, not as many people have done that. Most, m what most people do is, um, actually put the male and female enclosures next to each other. <laughs> And, yeah, most time, most of the time, though, you know, most breeders don't trigger ovulation because they don't really need to. 
Um, I mean, if you have a setup like me, you might need to. Like, right there. That's Smells Tub. And then, right there. All my females. So, yeah. They're not directly next to each other. So, yeah. So, those are just a couple reasons that I have found. If you have any ideas or any ideas that have worked for you, you can comment below. And again, I only suggest this if you missed your female's ovulation. Gosh, they're just stepping all over each other. But, uh, yeah. Wish me luck with her. Hopefully she is ovulating. Because, I say that because I've never, this is my first year breeding, so I'm not 100% sure that she is ovulating. I'm just pretty sure. So let's hope that she is ovulating because her and Contrast um, copulated successfully twice. And I didn't put them together twice, they just kind of copulated twice. Because, I don't know. I don't know if that's normal, but that's what Contrast did, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. And if you think I should breed her, like, if you really, if you guys have, if any of you have experience with breeding 10-month-old, um, 50-gram females, you've had a lot of success, and tell me. But for now, I'm thinking of just, <laughs> love how they just will crawl all over each other. But, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I'm thinking I'm gonna wait, but, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope this helped. See ya.